Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Victoria Femia with your top stories from the past week. The mask mandate has officially been lifted in the province as of Friday, March 11. Dr. Bonnie Henry announced on Thursday that masks will no longer be required in indoor public spaces. In addition, the vaccine card system that was extended through to the end of June back in January will now be ending on April 8. With the science and our data top of mind, it clearly shows that our risks now are much lower. They're not zero and we're not fully out of this yet, but I feel confident that we can safely make some further changes. For many months now, we've had a number of tools in our toolkit that have helped us to get to this point. We've had to use all of them, all of the time, and we are now transitioning to using some of our available tools some of the time because we are in a lower risk place. A fire erupted Thursday at Winfield Bakery in Lake Country, destroying the business that's been in the community for over 45 years. The bakery closed for the day at 6 p.m. and the fire began about 20 minutes later. Lake Country Fire Chief Steve Windsor said on Thursday that the building is close to a total loss. No injuries were reported in the fire and the cause of the blaze is unknown at this time. Many Lake Country residents called the tragedy a huge loss to the community. Very sad. It's astonishing actually because it's a well established business in Lake Country and very well liked by the community. A Penticton Heritage Home went up in smoke and flames on Monday afternoon. Fire Chief Larry Watkinson explained that his crew felt a blast of an explosion that went off at Warren House from two blocks away in their fire hall right before being called out to the scene. When the first team arrived on scene, the situation quickly became an all-hands-on-deck scenario with 35 members and five pieces of fire apparatus being called out. Within six minutes of being on scene, the building had collapsed. No injuries were reported and an investigation is moving forward, but the cause is not believed to be suspicious at this time. A man is in custody following an armed carjacking on Glenmore Road Monday morning following a brief court appearance Friday morning. Kenneth Patrick Morrison was charged with attempted murder with a firearm and robbery following a frightening incident during Monday's commute. Just before 8 a.m., a man driving a stolen Ford F-150 crashed into two other vehicles on Glenmore Road near Union Drive. Police say a struggle ensued when the driver threatened a motorist who had stopped to help with a gun. Before police arrived on scene, the suspect pulled a second gun and carjacked a passing Chevrolet Silverado and fled the scene. The suspect was tracked to Grizzly Road in West Kelowna, where the man left the truck, ran to Highway 97, and tried to steal another vehicle. Police closed in on him and arrested him. Wheelchair curler from Spalamchine, Ina Forrest, will bring home a bronze medal after Team Canada defeated Slovakia at the 2022 Paralympic Games in Beijing on Friday. Forrest has also won a gold medal three times in the World Wheelchair Curling Championships in 2009, 2011 and 2013. That's all for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Victoria Famia.